Hey you guys, let's get into this request video. We trying to see which way you put it in. To myself, just me lately. I don't need a lot. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, sis, I want to just say thank you. Thank you for dropping down in the comment section your questions. Let me tell you something. No question is a bad question. These questions that I have been addressing in these past few weeks and recording videos today has really reminded me of the beginning of my crochet journey. When I started out with the loose hair crochet videos, there weren't a lot of transparent videos out there to tell you these little things that are, they seem small, but they're huge. They're actually really big. And I forgot that. I forgot that because when I was learning, I wasn't doing YouTube at that time. The little YouTube videos I was doing was like with quick weaves and stuff like that. But when it came to crochet, I wasn't doing that yet. So when I started doing crochet installs on YouTube, I was past that point. And so when I started, I started out at the level I was on instead of the level that I started with. And in that way, I feel like I failed you guys. And I, I need to go back to basics. Which let me just say, let me plug this, that I do have courses that are coming, you guys, that I am so, so excited about. Um, and they're going to they're gonna start with Genesis, like day one, page one. We're going to get down into the nitty gritty of that shit. Like, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to bring y'all along for that. And it's going to be affordable. It's going to be something everybody can get that you don't have to get all at one time. Like, I'm, I'm so excited about it. Anyway. I've gotten I've gotten off track. Okay, so let's get into this video. How and and when do you change? Do you need to change the direction that you put the needle in the cornrow? That's so simple, right? But you know what? It's huge. It's actually really huge. Depending on what knots you're doing, what look you're going for, um, but it's it's fairly a simple answer. Okay, so let's let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to try to flip this around so that it's more um, or so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing, um, especially when we're dealing with left versus right. So for reference, um, my left hand is the one that has my engagement ring on oh, y'all. <laughs> If you follow me on my other platforms, then y'all already know about it. But anyway, so my left hand has the engagement ring. My right hand has the butterfly ring. So here I'm taking the needle with my right hand and I am inserting the crochet needle through it and it's coming out on the left. Um, the hook part of it is on my right. Um, in that case, when you're talking about a regular crochet knot, it's not going to be too much of a difference if you do it vice versa and i'll show you that in a minute the only difference when you're doing a regular crochet knot is that one side is going to show the separation at the base i'll show you that in a minute if that doesn't make sense to you um but i'm going to uh install another one and i'm going to use the crochet needle with my left hand and insert it going right so that you can have a comparison of the two so as you see i'm going to be taking my left hand the crochet needle is in that hand and i'm going to put the crochet needle in slide it to my right hook the hair in Pull it through to my left. And this is just a standard crochet knot. So we're going to take all the hair, pull it through, twist that, that little loop and pull it through again and tighten it. I'm not going to secure it. Obvious reasons, because that's not what the video is about. But normally, yes, I would secure my knots, but we're not talking about that today. So let me show you what I mean when I say 
you can see separation on one side and not on the other. If you can see right there, like that first one, you can see where the two strands and how the middle piece comes in between the two. But then on the other side, you only see the actual strand that was pulled through. So that's the only clear difference when you're talking about those knots. But, you know, if you're into illusion crochet, knotless crochet, things like that, then you only really use this knot where it's camouflaged and you won't be able to see it anyway. So essentially when it's a regular knot and you're doing a regular install, it doesn't really matter. When it comes to locks, braided hair, it's going to all be the same. It's going to show the two little separating strands on one side. Hey y'all. <laughs> and then um, the strand on the other so just across the board, that's the general rule. That's how it's going to be. If that part is important to you, then by all means, use the method that you like the best or that looks better for you. But here we're going to also do some knotless ones. And let me show you um, the difference in the two. This is where it starts to be very important. Um, and we'll get into, you know, different knots and stuff like that in, you know, other videos. And of course I already have some out there. Um, the hair that I'm using here, of course I wouldn't use a strand this big normally when installing hair, but for demonstration purposes to make sure that you guys can see everything, I want it to be a bit more exaggerated. So I use more hair, but of course we would never use that big of a strand to install, but let me just show you. So here I'm going to be taking my right hand and I'm going to insert the needle towards my left. And when I hook the hair and I pull it through, I'm going to be pulling it through to the right. And with a standard knotless knot, we're going to take half of the strand, pull it through twist the loop, pull it through again, pull it taut. And then of course, from there, I would secure it. And I'm, let me just fast forward through that because that ain't why we here. So as you can see where we pull the hair through, um, the opposite side is what's going to be knotless versus the other side is going to show the knot. Now, you know, if you've looked at some of my earlier videos and some of my crochet knot hacks, then you know that that doesn't necessarily mean anything. If you're going to use a more complicated knot, then it doesn't really matter. But if you're going to be using a knotless, um, you know, simple method like this, then yes, it is extremely important that you put it on the correct side um, to make sure that your parts look right and that there's no not actually showing. So in this one, we're going to be doing the opposite. I used my left hand to insert the needle and I'm pulling the hair through from the right. Um, the hook is on the left and I'm going to be taking half of the strands just like I would with a regular classic knotless knot. I'm going to pull half of that strand through I'm going to twist the loop and I'm going to pull it through again and then pull it taut and then secure it and go from there. So. Okay, so now that it's secure, we can look at the comparison of the two. Um, you see now, now it's showing the knot is on the left side. And the knotless part is on the right. So in general, if you insert the needle with your left hand and you're pushing it towards your right, then the right side is going to be what is knotless. That's the part that is going to be the exposed parting. So if you are doing one part, um, you're going to be sure to, and you're using this knotless method, you want to be sure that you are inserting the needle the same way throughout that entire row so that it's uniform. So let's just say you were creating a middle part 
that's going to include two braids, right? Because you need one on the left side, one on the right side, and then you have your, your part in the middle um, that's exposing your scalp. So on the left side, you want to be sure that you are inserting the needle the same way throughout on that one column row. And then when you get to the other side, you're going to do it the opposite way so that the loose hair, the part that is covering the cornrow, the other knot, all of that is all on one side of that cornrow. So if you take your needle in your right hand and you insert it, um, you know, and, and then hook the hair on the left side, that's going to be the side that is knotless. I hope that makes sense. Um, I just went back and recorded this segment here to try to explain a bit more, to demonstrate a little bit more. As you see, I use the same method and I would um, insert the needle the same way throughout that entire corn row until I left the crown, you know, and then it's about camouflage and you can use regular ones or whatever after that. But there I um, inserted the needle using my right hand and then pull the hair through from the left and the left side is what's covering you know the cornrow and the knots and all of that and then on this side i'm using my left hand and i'm going to pull the hair through to the right um, so it's going to be opposite directions when you're trying to create that part so just watch that demo and i hope that this makes sense and answers your question um, but also keep in mind that again, this is just a basic knotless knot. When you get into the other knots that I have shown you guys in the past and the knots that I'll be showing you in, um, these classes, um, it won't necessarily matter as much. Um, but here when you're talking about just a basic knotless knot, yes, it makes all the difference in the world. It's super important. This was a great, great question. You guys, please keep them coming. I'm loving these request videos. Thank you so much for watching. Drop down any questions that you guys have, any request. I am just super excited that I get to hear from you guys. So y'all make sure to join me on my other platforms. I'm on Facebook. You can follow me there. Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Lemon8 any of them that you think of baby i'm on it just search shay niche okay i love you guys so much thanks again for watching you can finish watching out this demonstration and um that's it bye i've been to myself just me lately i don't need a lot yeah 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 huh. i've been to myself just me lately i don't need a lot i don't need a lot no me and the fam, two friends ain't playing. I don't speak a lot, and I, and I, and I can't stop. Can't stop. And I, and I, and I can't stop. Can't stop. And I, and I, and I can't stop. Oh, oh, oh. And I. And I can't stop. I'm that cash money get up, big show stopper. Four kids having no chain rocker. Make my business, work my business. Count them digits, earn them winnings. I see you in my rear view and you been trying. Said you out doing numbers, but you been lying. And you know my little baby been fine. In the crib, that she do it for the nine nine. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I've been to myself just me lately. I don't need a lot. I don't need